Black Knight Shield. Okay. So it's similar to the Silver Knight Shield, but with more fire, less magic, less stability. Probably looks really cool, though. Oh, yeah. All right, next challenger. Whoa. Funky colors. Ah, oh, I missed the parry. I feel like I timed that right and it was just very, very punishing for no reason. Well, that one I was too slow. This is true. He, he gave up. He felt sorry for me. I, uh, yeah. Am I ever gonna learn how to parry? Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. He did, he did feel sorry for me. But only a little bit. I think I, think I was better at parrying with the other shields. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Not as sorry as he could have been. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this little fella again. I felt like I did a better job pairing with this one. We can teach you to parry if you fancy that. Well. Maybe I just need to do some more Sekiro and some more Lies of P. Again. What? Okay. Moving on. Great sword. It's an ultra large great sword. I do have the right amount of strongs. I do have the right amount of dexterity. And it starts off with pretty beastly strength scaling. This this could be a thing. I can't remember if there was any loot on the left here. I remember in the Prepare to Die edition, like walking around and trying to see if I can get down to that lower bit of level. Didn't work. <laughs> I'm not I'm I'm not too confident that I'm gonna be okay. I'm I think it's this guy. Can I parry this guy. Good start. It's a good start. Oh, I did it. Back in form. Yeah. So happy. <laughs> Hey! 
So you don't need to sit here and like try and get their armor randomly. You get the full set. Nice. I like that. I think there's like a halberd guy and a great axe guy left. Don't they try and do leap attacks on you, like, at the get-go as well? I remember the last two being kind of mean. There they are. Oh, shield. Shield bash is bad. Oh! Nope, 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 nope. I want to do over. Mulligan. Something. I might try to just go for the backstab with this guy. Does he go and kill me? Ah, uh, I missed. Stop turning your back around, sir. He just does this little crazy, like, spin each time he stops. He does a little pirouette. That's what it is. It's throwing me off. Is this a halberd? It looks a little like a halberd. Bad parry. Bad parry. It's a mean weapon. The shield again. And a blue Titanite chunk. I don't want that. Um, do I want to finish the game? I don't think I do. I want to buy the Artorius um, gloves and the Artorius boots. So we need 40,000 monies. Plus I'll, plus I'll, you know, crack open whatever monies are in my inventory. And then we'll come down and do it. Like, I don't think I'm going to find Onion Dead and Onion Daughter. So I've been really struggling with that. I've been looking around for them. And I want to found Big Hat Loaf again. He's still just sitting as accurate he was, so that's fine. Is there anyone else's story that I, I feel I didn't look at more? No, I think, I think we had a good... I think we had a good run. To be honest. I think we tried and succeeded with as much as we're going to. It could be time to turn this into New Game Plus. Now we still don't know for a fact if I found the DLC or not. Uh, and nobody tell me. Nobody tell me if I did. But we've, we found a lot of good content. Like if I have to play it again to find the DLC... I'll just play it again, because I just love this game. So much fun to be had. Right, so how many souls we got? Nice! Do we, like, very carefully, without risking 34,000 souls, kill this first guy a few times, get the Artorias stuff, and then get out of there? 
I think we should. Sparring partner go. I know this is a little bit boring to just see me just fight the first guy a few times, but if I dropped these 36,000 souls and died twice, I'd be pretty sad. Just saying. I think I thought about which ending I want to see. And it makes a lot of sense to me. I'm going to see the ending that I didn't see the first time. And it's because I didn't find Kaith this time. And I can't, I can't do the Kaith ending without finding Kaith. It also means I get to see the one that I didn't see last time. The, the alternate ending to me is where you light the fire. That, that's absolutely the alternate ending to this game. You light the fire and you continue the lie. The true original ending is to just turn that fire off. Side with the truth, lads. And, uh, yeah, you know, make it dark. Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. I'm starting to wonder if you have to be at a certain range to parry. Like, if it just connects with your shield at the right time, it might not be enough. You might need to be next to them. Yeah, whatever. Stab, stab. Uh oh. Yeesh. Forty K. Love some boots. Off we go. Much going full Artorius. I've got the Artorius sword on. The only thing I don't have is his shield because it, it's it's kind of wrecked. Doesn't even give you proper block. 80% block or something like that. But otherwise, we are Artorius. Now, I'm praying I don't fall off the cliff while I'm trying to buy the items. Ragdolls them really far, the strong attack. A 
Aye, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> We did it. We won. Thank you. That was a fine trade. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. And we'll make another fine trade, of course. I wish there was a set bonus. But, uh, you know... Looking like the guy. It, it's set bonus enough. Plus one lizard detection. <laughs> That'd be handy. Being able to like see them through the walls with like a red outline. I'd be down for that. Oh, it's a it's a it's a punch them shield, not a not a parry them shield. My mistake. I apologize to that guy. Right, can I roll properly? I can. Can I roll properly without the Havel ring on? I cannot. Havel it is then. They just show up on the map. Oh yeah, that map that I don't have. <laughs> we just need to bring the set bonus forward to uh, Elden Ring, and we'll be we'll be a. Right. I hope all the extra stuff. Um, Game has a map? Cool. I'll just press select. Nope. It was something else. Yeah. I really, uh, I, I'm imagining the games where you get like a, like a, a pink cube when there's no texture, like Half-Life. Like that would look awful in there. Luminous neon pink. Uh, but I really, I really hope the stuff that I found made this uh, second playthrough worth it. Don't know if I found everything, but I feel like we found some impressive stuff. And I had a lot of fun. Yeah, we're we're going to the end boss. And I don't know if it would take me too many attempts, because I remember trying to fight him properly. And it was tough. And then I went in there one time and I'm just like, parry. And and you can parry him, and he kills over really quickly. Oh sorry. I timed it all wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely have to remember to equip the the right shield and not try and use this one. Yeah, I, I don't know about getting him first try, because if I if I lord it over him too much and say, Haha, too easy, Gwyn. I'm sure I'll lose. Just as just as karma. But we'll see. Oh, easy there, fella. Don't jump backwards off the edge. There we go. First try or restart. Oh my god, could you imagine? I don't think I could ever be that strong. I don't think I could ever be that kind of person. Like, 
I got really upset and stopped playing Lineage 2 when somebody tricked, like, the, uh, the criminal system into believing that I had griefed him when he griefed me. And all the players on the realm could attack me in Lineage 2 because of the way the guy scammed me. And then, uh, after the players killed me, they stole all my stuff. It was, it was free lootable corpses. And I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. It was an NH2 beta, and I just went, I'm not playing this game. I hate you, game. And then I quit. And Lineage 2 was actually a really great game, and I didn't play the live version because I was just so mad about the beta. And then, like, many, many years later, I gave it a try, and then it I think it, it's gone offline now. I don't think you can play it anymore, but... Yeah. I'm too easily upset by reverse of progress. I like my stuff. Why well, I find it so hard to delete a Path of Exile character, but I'm going to have to in order to uh, do my new nighttime stream that I'm planning to do. Oops, I had uh, a kick attack instead of a regular one. Yeah, I just... Uh, I don't know, having all your inventory go to other players, it's, it's, it's too much for me. That's why I didn't like um, player unknown battlegrounds when somebody forcibly brought me a key and said, there you go. Because I just called it like a, a 40 minute picking up simulator for someone else to, to end up with your stuff. And I just, I hate it. Makes me mad. Right, I need the correct shield. Had some really good luck with uh, this one. Let's just keep keep my lucky guy on. Here he is, the Lord of All Fire, Gwyn. That was a damn good parry. He came flying in and everything. Oh, that's a grapple. And and ouch. Excuse me, sir. I need to uh, health potion. Whoops, wasn't close enough. I don't like that. That first one just came out swinging. And I'm dead. I did press the parry key, and I in fact pressed the parry key on time, and the game just really, really, you know, didn't like the fact that I did it on time and correctly and just killed me anyway. Yeah, like, fighting him properly and regularly is really, really difficult. But getting the parries off is just, it's just super duper easy. I had this fire spell that was called, like, Super Mega Power Up Something Something. I'll try and put that back on. It was really good for this fight. Power within. Oh, and then I need the cast gun. Oh, I already got it on. Good. Good. The game is what's wrong. It was! It's just... You know, I, I timed that correctly, absolutely, and the game lied. I mean, you can see it on the control pad on the clip. Press parry for that for that attack, and it just didn't do it. Yeah, almost disappointing as a last boss when you parry. Limited power. Yep, true. True. I'm going to try just running to the, to the guy. I think you can mostly do it. It's a bit iffy with the guy on the bridge. You gotta say that the ult the ultimate power probably is the power within. 
the power to never give up when dying 1430 odd times in Dark Souls 2 is a pretty strong power. You know, I'm sure some people die less than my 1400 Dark Souls 2 deaths. Uh, but you know. DLC bosses should be more challenging than the final boss from the base game. Yeah. Kind of a bit weird to go back at the end though and do an easier fight. But it's it's kind of like a reward. Oh yeah, I'm standing next to the door. That's probably a bad idea, right? Oh, I wanted my souls. Oh well. Whoa! I freaking died, bro, but the, the potion just covered me anyway. Sometimes the game giveth and sometimes the game taketh away. Souls. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Now I'm fine. Come on. What was that? I hit the parry key and it just kind of like partial parried. Ooh, that wasn't a partial parry, that was a full parry. Yeah, sorry I didn't finish on time, but you just have to click on the VOD, I guess. Mm, boo -ends. I was saying boo -ends. Ah. It's a real shame when, like, I hit the parry key and it's just like, lol, partial parry, here's a follow-up attack, you're dead. Come on. Um, ow. Oh, cool, I'm a ghost. Gwyn won't be able to get me now. Immortality. Uh, I guess I could sit here and mess around in my inventory and try and get some fire resist. But I'm also kind of lazy. I think the laziness is going to win out. Superman. See another Superman. Aw, oh, he didn't jump up in the air. Lame. Two partial parries. Ah. So annoying. He's just he's not he's not being my my buddy this time around.
Uh, do you have some mods running or something? Not really seeing that many parries that don't work. No, I, I never mod the gameplay. This is, um, this actually has zero mods on it right now because I had a graphical mod and then I got rid of it because there was all those funky problems. This is just Dark Souls Remastered. Um, by itself. But no, no, I, I never, I never mod the gameplay. I just don't think I'm, I'm doing well enough, I suppose. Really fast attack, that one. Got another couple of weird partials in there, but I think we got it. I mentioned because there was a 60 frames per second mod for prepare to die edition and it literally caused double damage. Well, totally unattended. Crikey. The um the DS fix, the 60 FPS one, I was running that when we completed it before. Solar Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. And yes, the thumbs up is guaranteed. Give Gwyn the double thumbs up. Come on, he's Gwyn, he's a cool guy. I like that his sword's on fire. Maybe when we trade in the sword for the Sword of Gwyn at the uh, Giant Blacksmith, it'll be on fire. I think, um... I think inner fire, inner power, power within. It's really, really good. Hello there. So, uh, we're trying my alternative ending, which is to light the fires. That's the one that we're doing. So here we go. Pick up them no souls. And, uh, blink the fire. So this is the first time I've seen this. Let's have a look. Ouch. Okay, really ouch. This is not fine. To link the fire, reach the... To link the fire ending. Oh, the other ending's way better than this one. It's just a little cinder. It's all good. It's all good. It's just a little dirty. It's all good. It's all good. Right. The kilt of the moist flannel. Where are the kilts in this game? That's what I want to know. I think rather than listening to this outro again, and if people on YouTube later on want to listen to this outro, they can listen to it on my Prepare to Die edition. 
probably on someone's one where they're not talking. I'm not talking over the top of it. 